You will never be a programmer unless you learn how to make programming fun. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Now, by far, the most asked questions I get are what languages should I learn and what projects should I build? And if you're asking these questions, you're already heading towards a path of failure when it comes to learning programming. And that's because these questions don't take into account the fact that you need to make programming fun in order to succeed. Because let's say that you asked me these questions, and I told you that you needed to learn some obscure language like COBOL or Haskell, something that you just don't enjoy working in, and I said that the only projects that you can build are tax calculation projects or boring to-do applications, and that's the only way to become a programmer. And I even guaranteed you, if you spent a year studying these things and building these projects, I would give you a programming job. You may think, that's incredible because I'm guaranteed a job in one year, I just need to learn these few simple things. But the problem is, you're not going to enjoy learning these things unless for some reason you do, but more than likely you're not going to enjoy learning Cobalt or Haskell or building out tax calculation projects or building out to-do applications. These are very boring things that most people don't enjoy. So you're going to start doing it and you're going to be really motivated for about a week two weeks, maybe even a couple months, you're going to be like, yes, yes, I can't wait to get this programming job. I just need to get through this really boring, terrible part, and then I'm going to be a programmer. The problem comes as you get to month two, three, four, five, six, even all the way down to a year, you're eventually going to lose that initial motivation that you had. And you're starting to get to the point where you need pure willpower to push you through because you're not enjoying what you're doing. It's difficult. It's hard. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. And you have to push yourself and force yourself to grind through this terrible process to get to what you think you're going to enjoy. And most people, including myself, are unable to do that. If I can't make something enjoyable or fun, there's no way in the world that I'm able to stick with it, and you would fail at becoming a programmer if you took that route. Well, instead, what you need to do is you need to ask yourself, what do I enjoy about programming? Do you enjoy building out UIs? Do you enjoy building out APIs? Or do you enjoy building out games? Figure that out and then determine what languages you're going to learn based on that. If you enjoy building out UIs, learn something like CSS. If you enjoy backends, learn Node.js or Python. If you enjoy building games, learn some kind of game engine or game framework that you need to use to build out these games. It's entirely based upon what you enjoy. Even if that particular thing isn't the quote-unquote best option for getting a job, so for example, if you really enjoy the front end and you want to learn CSS and you really want to deep dive into CSS, that may not be the best option when it comes to getting a developer job, but if that's what you enjoy the most, it's going to give you the most success and the highest chance of landing a job because you're going to put the most effort and time into learning it, which is much more important than learning the exact best or perfect language because it really changes all the time and is different between different companies. The same exact thing is true for projects. You don't want to just choose the projects somebody tells you are the best to get a job because if you don't actually have any passions around that topic, you're just going to dread building the project. The project's not going to be very good. It's going to be unfinished, or you're not even going to start it at all because you just don't care about this particular thing. Find projects you're passionate about. If you like sports, build some kind of application that queries sports APIs and puts together a bunch of information. If you like games, make your own game. Figure out what it is that you enjoy the most and build that into your own project and make that your own thing. For me, when I was learning programming, I built projects around things that I was passionate about. I built projects on game development, I built projects related to music, specifically metal music, and all of these projects I was super passionate about. I spent tons of time on them, and every time I hit a roadblock that normally would make me quit, I said, you know what, this is something I care about. I want to see this project finished. So I'm going to research and study and get over this roadblock. I did that over and over and over again. I hit so many roadblocks on these projects, but because I was passionate about them, I just wanted to keep pushing forward until I had these complete projects. And best of all, when I went and applied to companies, they were blown away by the projects on my resume because these projects were unique. Nobody else had built out these types of projects. No one else had some application for metal music because it's my own passion. Most other people aren't passionate about that. So they saw these projects and they were like, wow, these are really cool and unique projects. While everyone else had a generic to-do application or an e-commerce application on their application and resume, which sure, these are really cool and impressive projects, but they're the projects everybody does. So finding something you're passionate about is going to shine through so much more in an interview than just doing some generic best project that you find online. I think a great analogy for this would be something like fitness or learning an instrument, because if you can't make fitness or learning an instrument fun, you're just going to give up. They're difficult things to do, but not the most enjoyable or sexy thing in the entire world. And as you're going through it, it's a lot of practice and work to get good. 
but once you get good it becomes a lot more fun. But that progress between knowing nothing and actually being good is difficult and long and if you can't make that fun, you're never going to stick with it. For me, learning guitar, I could, you know, go online, look at the best recommended songs to learn, look at the best recommended ways to do particular things, and I could try to do that. But there's only so many times that I can play some really boring, generic, you know, Mary Had a Little Lamb song before I just get bored out of my mind and give up. Instead, the music I'm interested in is metal music, so I want to learn songs that I listen to, songs that I enjoy. And they may be more complex than something like Mary Had a Little Lamb or Yankee Doodle, but that's okay because I'd rather spend the extra time suffering through and trying to learn these more complex songs than learn something that's maybe better for where I am in my learning stages or better as a learning tool because I more so enjoy learning these different types of songs rather than learning something like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And it's the same thing with building projects. Even if your project is a little bit ambitious, maybe a little bigger than people would recommend, if that's what you're passionate about, it doesn't matter what they think because as long as you're passionate about it, you're gonna stick through and build that project no matter how difficult it is, no matter how many roadblocks you hit because you want to see it completed and you're enjoying the actual process of learning to code and learning to build these projects. If you just suffer through not actually enjoying the process of learning code and just doing what everyone else tells you is the best thing to do, eventually, if you stick through it and somehow don't quit and land your dev job, you're gonna just be stuck doing that exact same thing over and over and over again. You're going to hate your job because in your job, you're gonna be doing the same thing that you've been doing for months while you're learning that thing. So instead of trying to learn something you don't like, spend that time learning to do things that you do enjoy. That way when you do land your job, it's going to be a job that you enjoy instead of a job that you hate. Because working for months and months and months to try to land a job and then hating that job is just terrible because you wasted so much time. Not only that, but odds are you're going to quit at some point if you don't find a way to make programming fun. So like I said, try to find languages that are related to things that you enjoy, such as UI, backend, whatever it is, find the thing you enjoy and find the languages related to it. Then when you choose projects, choose projects related to your passions and not related to what is the best or most optimal thing to do. Because if you're passionate about something, you're going to push so much harder and so much further than if it's just the best thing to do. And if you're unsure of what the best path for you is when it comes to programming, make sure you check out the top video linked over here. It's going to lay out the different paths for you. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.